Hello students. Many times when I received questions from my students, the ones that they needed most help with are number one, those that require you to explain in words, and two, geometrical diagrams with no given values. For the first problem, do you know that questions that requires explanation takes up more than 10 marks in the O-level exams? That could mean a difference between one or two grades. Students tend to skip such questions as there are usually no answer keys to depend on during their day-to-day -day practice. Or they simply memorize some model answers which they do not know how to tweak to be relevant to the question at hand. Every mark counts in the exam. In our webinar, we will share with you techniques on how to answer them correctly. Now, let's take a look at another example that stumbled many, many students. Usually, such questions do not come with any values in terms of angles and measurement. So now, how do we tackle such questions? The problem which many students have is that they start on the wrong footing by assuming that in this question, that APQR is already a square. And that's the wrong way. Students will still get the solution, but the wrong solution. You will need to know the properties of geometry very well, and in this case, the properties of a square. So, for this question, the examiner is testing you on adopting the correct congruence test. So, which one would you choose? Is your answer option number 3? AAS, congruence test. That's right. As you can see, the concept is not too difficult but it requires you to have sufficient mastery to be able to combine the relevant concepts to solve a single problem. So, if you find yourself struggling in the above two areas and many more, come, join our bootcamp where we will share with you more tips and tricks and techniques, be exposed to commonly tested question types, know all the latest trending O-level exam questions, and be familiarized with higher order thinking questions to differentiate yourself to get that A1. So, we'll see you there.